Hi, in this episode I'm going to talk about the catabolism of the ketogenic amino acids and other, I think you'll be talking about branch chain amino acids and the glucogenic and ketogenic amino acids. So, the catabolism of ketogenic amino acids produces acetyl-CoA, acetoacetate and acetyl, not acetoacetyl, Acetoacetyl-CoA, I'll get my words out eventually. And as it says here, lysine and leucine are actually the only purely ketogenic amino acids. If you have a lot of slides. Yeah, we get this here. As you can see, they are the only true ketogenics. And leucine goes to acetyl-CoA, lysine goes to acetoacetyl-CoA. So I'll skip forward again. And as it shows here, the ones that are glucogenic and ketogenic are included as well. So, if threonine, lysine, isoleucine, and tryptophan all go straight to acetyl CoA pretty much. Leucine to HMG CoA, which then goes to acetoacetate or acetyl CoA. Then phenylalanine and tyrosine go to acetoacetate, like ketone bodies. Right. So, lysine. Basically, get this reaction. from. Lysine goes to cyclopene. Eventually, it comes round, skips a few steps here, and you get beta hydroxybutyryl CoA. Uh, I know I've skipped a lot of steps, but don't really need to know them as part of my course. And this is purely for revision purposes. So, beta hydroxybutyryl CoA releases NADH and goes to acetoacetyl CoA. Now, acetyl CoA goes through, CoA comes off. So you get the HMG coil, which binds on extra fairly here. And then you lose that acetyl coil over here to give you acetoacetate. Now, I said I'd discuss them as one, but leucine and other branch chain amino acids share very similar pro catabolisms. Now, the, basically, the process goes this way. For any branch chain that's branched and non-polar, they're transaminated, then go undergo oxidative decarboxylation by, by the PDH complex, and generally de generate acyl CoA derivatives. Dehydrogenation then occurs to form double bonds. So here's the first step of the reaction. Imagine that you've got in step A, you've got your isoleucine, your fine or your leucine. So on alpha keto glutamate goes to glutamate, so you end up with alpha keto. The methyl valerate from isoleucine, alpha keto isovalerate from valine, and alpha keto isocaproic acid. Then you go to alpha methyl butyryl CoA, isobutyryl CoA, and isovaleryl CoA. So that follows these three steps. As you can see, Transamination to form glutamate, NAD and coash to NADH, and CO2 attaching the coash there, or the coas, and then FAD to FADH2, then it continues down this pathway here, which I'll just go over the next slide for. So you can see, you get your isoleucine is A, your valine is B, and your leucine is C. So their pathways end up in tigal CoA, water attached, alpha methyl beta hydroxybutyryl CoA, which co produces NADH to form alpha methyl acetoacetyl CoA. Acetyl CoA is released, released with the addition of coash and goes down to propanyl CoA, and a few steps after propanyl CoA, you get to Sustyl CoA. As you can see, the valine metabolism pathway continues down to attach to propanyl CoA as well. Via methylacryl CoA gains a H2O, so that bond is hydrolyzed. Same here. Get your OH, as the OH appeared here. Get your beta hydroxybutyryl CoA. H2O as it goes in, coash comes out. So you, this S CoA here leaves. So leaving you a bit hydroxy isobutyrate, NAD plus to NADH, and then you get methylmalonate semialdehyde, 
which by this reaction where Coash is bonded in ADH and CO2 lost, you get your propanol coa again. And then leucine undergoes this mechanism. It's not related it's related to the other two initially here. However, after this split here, where you get your alpha methylbutyl CoA and all these, you see your tigon for your methyl. Once you get these products here to form these products, they all split in different pathways. With valine and isoleucine, ended up with succinyl CoA. However, leucine itself ends up with beta methylcrontinyl CoA, which again uses an ATP and gains a CO2 and a water as you can see here the CO2 is ended up there and the water is just being used in the reaction beta methyl glutaconyl CoA which is this product then goes to beta hydroxy beta methyl glutaryl CoA via HMG CoA from these which can then be split down into acetyl CoA and acetoacetate